Okay, 8.2, we are going to learn about trigonometric ratios. So our three trig ratios are going to be sine, cosine, and tangent. All of this is a bunch of words, but the most important part is the acronym so -ka toa So the first one stands for sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The second one stands for cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the last one is tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we find the sine of an angle, which is going to be equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So you find the sine, cosine, and tangent of an angle, which is equal to a side over a side. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. In our first example, it says write the trigonometric ratio as a fraction and as a decimal rounded to the nearest hundredth. So we have the sine of j. Sine, we know is opposite over hypotenuse. So we're looking at the opposite over the hypotenuse of angle j. So what side is opposite of angle j? Six, uh, eight. Which is 60. And what's our hypotenuse? 61. So we would do 60 over 61 in our calculator, 0.98, perfect. When it says to the nearest hundredth, remember that means it's going to be two decimal places. Okay, write the trigonometric ratio as a fraction and as the decimal rounded to the nearest hundredth. So now we have the cosine of j. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. What is adjacent to angle J? Yes? 11. 11, and what's the hypotenuse? 61. So we would do 11 over 61. And what do we get? It's equal to 0.18. Perfect. And lastly, we have write the trigonometric ratio as a fraction and as a decimal for the tangent of angle K. So now we're looking at angle K. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So what side is opposite of angle K? 11. 11. And what's the adjacent? 60. 60. So we have 11 over 60, which is 0.18. Point nine eight. Point one eight. Oh, that's a good point. Sixty one is next to angle K and sixty is next to K, but sixty one is the hypotenuse. So the leg that's adjacent would be sixty. So that's why we use sixty. Okay, the next couple examples are just practicing with your calculator. So if you put the sine of fifty two degrees in your calculator, you will get. 0.788 this decimal. It is important that your calculator is in degree mode. If it's in radian mode, then you'll get the wrong answer. You'll get like one point something. So you gotta make sure your calculator is in degree mode. The next one, cosine of 19. So if you put cosine of 19 in your calculator, you will get 0.9455. So these couple are just practicing the calculator. And if you did tangent of 65, you'll get 2.1445. So our next example, find the length rounded to the nearest hundredth. So remember here, we are going to use Sokotoa.
Okay, we're looking for BC, so we can call side BC X. And it, we're given angle B, which is 15 degrees. So looking at angle B, we have the opposite and the adjacent of angle B. So which one involves the opposite and adjacent? Casey? The tangent. So we're going to use the tangent of angle B is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So we're using this one here. And we knew to use tangent because we were given the opposite and adjacent. So now we can fill in what we have. So we have tangent of 15, because angle B is 15. The opposite is 10.2, and the adjacent is what we're trying to find, x. So now how can we solve for x here? So we multiply x on both sides. So we get x times tangent of 15 is equal to 10.2. So we divide tangent of 15 on both sides. So it crosses off there. So we're left with x is equal to 10.2. Ten point two over tangent of fifteen, and this is what you're going to put in your calculator: ten point two divided by tangent of fifteen, and then that'll give us x. So, what do you guys get for x? Thirty-eight point. To the nearest hundredth, so we need to. Zero seven. So 38.07 feet. And we know it's feet because this one was given to us in feet. Yes. Okay, the next one. Remember, so, ka, toa. We are looking for QR, so we can call QR X, and we are given angle P. So we have the opposite and the hypotenuse. So which one involves the opposite and hypotenuse? Sine. So this one. So we're going to use the sine of angle P, which is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, and now we can just plug in. So sine of 63 is equal to the opposite, which is x, over the hypotenuse, 12.9. So now we can multiply both sides by 12.9. So it cancels out there, and we get x is equal to 12.9 times sine of 63. And you would just put this, you'd multiply this in your calculator. So you'd do sine of 63 times 12.9, which gives you? So you got 11.5 centimeters. So that's our final answer. Ready for the next one? Find the length round to the nearest hundredth. So we're looking for FD now. So we can call it FDX. And we're given angle F, and we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So in our SOKATOA, which one uses the adjacent and hypotenuse? Cosine. So we're going to do the cosine of F is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And now we can plug in. So we have cosine of 39 is equal to 20 over X. 
and now we can multiply both sides by x. So we're just solving for x now. So we have x times cosine of 39 is equal to 20. And then we divide by cosine of 39 on both sides to get x all by itself. So we have x is equal to 20 divided by cosine 39. And you'll put this into your calculator and get 25.74 meters. Ready for the next? Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Find the length, round to the nearest hundredth. So we're looking for BC. So we can call BC X. And we have our Sokatoa. So we're given angle B. And we have the opposite and the adjacent. So which one uses the opposite and adjacent? Toa. So the tan. So we're going to say the tan of B is equal to the opposite over adjacent. And now we just plug in. So we know B is 18. So the tangent of 18, 12 over X. So we're just going to solve. We want this to be x equals. That way we know what to put in our calculator exactly. So we can multiply x on both sides. So we get x times tangent of 18 is equal to 12. And then we divide by tangent of 18. So we get x is equal to 12 over tan of 18. So now you're going to put this into your calculator. 36.93. Yeah, in the calculator on the iPad, you have to put the number and then tangent. Are you sure you're in degrees or are you in radians? <coughs> Okay, so the first two are a little tricky because we're using things that we learned in the past. So we are using the special right triangles. Remember our 30, 60, 90 triangle? So we have 30, 60, and 90. What is opposite of the 30? X. What's opposite of the 60? X squared root 3. And what's the hypotenuse? 2. 2x. So now we're trying to find the sine of 60. What do we know the sine is? Opposite over hypotenuse. So we do the opposite, which is x square root 3 over the hypotenuse. What's the hypotenuse here? 2x. The x's cancel out, so the sine of 60 is square root 3 over 2. These two are a little tricky. So let's do the cosine of 45. So now we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Our legs are x and our hypotenuse is x square root 2. So cosine is what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Remember, co. So, so katoa is our, but it's asking us for the cosine, so we're using the middle one. So we use adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of 45 is going to be adjacent. So x 
over the hypotenuse, x square root 2. The x's cancel out, so we'll get 1 over square root 2. Wait, We have the cosine of 45 is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is this x, so cosine of 45 is equal to x over the hypotenuse is x square root 2. It doesn't matter. It would be the same thing. So then the x's cancel out, so we're just left with 1 over square root 2. So these, we don't, like, Right. So these, like, no matter what type of triangle you have, like, sine of 60 will always be the same thing. It'll always be this. Cosine of 45 will always be this, because you can use those special right triangles to find it. So use your calculator to find each trigonometric ratio round to the nearest hundredth. So you're just going to put tan of 84 in your calculator. What do you get? 9.51. 9.51. And what about cosine of 13? 0. 0.971. Well, 0.97, that's all I need. Yes, it needs to be in degrees. If it's in radians, you'll get a different answer and it'll be wrong. Oh, no, because the degrees is the 84. So the 84 is talking about the angle, but this is like the proportion of the side plane. So find each length round to the nearest tenth. So we need to find CB. So let's call CB X. So we're given angle A and the opposite and the adjacent. So remember we have so, ka, toa. Which one involves the opposite and adjacent? Toa. So we're going to use tangent. So we have the tangent of angle A is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So we have the tangent of 22 is equal to x over 15. <coughs> so to get x all by itself, we multiply both sides by 15. And we have 15 times the tangent of 22 is equal to x. So in your calculator, you're going to find the tangent of 22 and multiply that by 15. And what do we get? Six point oh six. So you put, find the tangent of 22. So in your calculator, you're going to do 22, take the tangent of it, and then multiply it by 15. Oh, Yes. And you. 6.06. .06. Okay, so that is CB. And now we need to find AC. So let's call this Y. So now we have angle A and we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So which one involves the adjacent and hypotenuse? So we have Sokotoa, the adjacent and hypotenuse, is going to be cosine. So we're going to take the cosine of <coughs> angle A, and that's going to be equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse. <coughs> so we have the cosine of 22 is... 15 over y. To get y all by itself, we multiply both sides by y. So we have y is equal y times.
cosine 22 is equal to 15. And then we have to divide by cosine of 22. So y is equal to 15 divided by cosine of 22. So you need to put this into your calculator. Sixteen point one eight. So you found the cosine of twenty two, right? You'll have to write that down and then you do twenty fifteen divided by that number that you just wrote down. Perfect. All right, use your answer from items 5 and 6 to write each trig ratio as a fraction and as a decimal rounded to the nearest hundredth. So we're just going to find the sine of A. <coughs> so we know sine is what? <coughs> Opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of A is going to be 6.06 .06 over 16.18. And then you can just do 6.06 .06 divided by 16.18. And you get the decimal answer, which is 0.37. What did you get for cosine of A? Cosine of A. So cosine, remember we're doing the adjacent over hypotenuse. What's adjacent to angle A? Adjacent, the side that's right next door to it. So 15, and what's the hypotenuse of our triangle? 16.18. And then when you put 15 divided by 16.18 in your calculator, what do you get, Casey? 0.93. Francisco, what'd you get for the tangent of A? So remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we're looking at angle A. What's the opposite side? 6.06. 6.06. And what's the adjacent side? 15. So 6.06 Yes. 0 0.48. Is that what you said? No, 0. 0 0.04. Okay, this. All right, so this is 8.2. You guys can go ahead and get started on the homework.